In this video, we will be studying about the equilibrium level of income, output and employment. See your output. I told you that your aggregate supply helps in the valuation. And that value addition goes to the income generation. So I told you that your aggregate supply is equal to your income. And then if there is output in equilibrium which means that your employment is also at its equilibrium. Because if aggregate supply in order to produce you need an employees, you need workers. So the level of output and the level of unemployment employment in the economy so this is the relationship so if there is equilibrium level of income or output or employment asked in the equation you have to do, do the same manner so this was given by Keynesian the economist he said there is indifferent between income, output and employment. So there are two approaches to it. Number one is your AS and AD approach. Number two is your savings and investment approach. So in this video we will be doing first your aggregate supply and aggregate demand approach in order to calculate the equilibrium level of input income or output on employment here aggregate supply and aggregate demand approach see here equilibrium level of income and output is achieved or output is achieved when your aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand. See, I told you that your aggregate supply means you are generating income, so this is equal to Y. So I've told you that your aggregate supply is equal to consumption plus saving, and your aggregate demand is equal to your private consumption plus investment expenditure right so with this when your equilibrium is attained at this point so your c plus s you can replace this in equation one is equal to your c plus i c stands over c so saving is equal to investment expenditure your equilibrium level is attained. So we can use two approaches to it. Your AS and AD approach, your savings and investment approach. So equilibrium level of income is achieved when withdrawals is equal to your injections. Your saving is a withdrawal that you are not using your money in the economy in order to buy the goods and services is equal to your injections which means your investments you are investing your money in order to buy goods and services of capital products like capital goods and services which increase the flow of your stock so these are the injections so your uh, equilibrium level of income is attained when your aggregate supply is, is equal to aggregate demand or your S is equal to your I or your withdrawals are equal to the injections. Assumptions we are taking in this AS and AD approach or S and I approach number one is your it is a short run analysis. See, in the long run, you can take measures if there is like any difference between your income and your employment, full employment income, there is a gap. You call it as an inflationary or deflationary gap. 
So in the long run, a government can take measure and resolve this particular gap. But in the short run, this is not possible. So the assumption is it is a short run analysis. The second, it is a closed economy, which means your AD was equal, your AD function was equal to consumption, private consumption expenditure, your private investment expenditure, your government expenditure plus your exports minus imports. So it's a closed economy. It does not deal with the rest of the world. So this element we have eliminated now from AD. This third we have, there is no government. In order to simplify, we have taken an assumption that there is no government. So this expenditure we have also eliminated from AD. So now in this case, according to our assumptions, we have AD is equal to consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure only as these two we have eliminated by taking the assumption in the law. The fourth we have is your aggregate supply is perfectly elastic. Which means that if there is any change in the aggregate demand, the aggregate supply will adjust itself accordingly. So if your demand have increased in the market, which means your supply is less, so your aggregate supply, what producers will do, they will start producing more and they will increase the supply. So again your aggregate supply has adjusted itself according to the aggregate demand. These are the assumptions that we will take while analyzing the equilibrium of income or output when aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand. We know that your aggregate demand is equal to your consumption expenditure plus your investment expenditure. And we know that your aggregate supply is equal to C plus S where consumption plus savings is equal to your income, right? So, in aggregate demand, what were the things we used to take on the graph? That was your autonomous investment, that is I, that is induced that induced investment was which fluctuates due to the income but autonomous investment was your fixed investment that you used to take here will take your income and output here will take your consumption your investment right now if we consider your consumption function then your consumption was at when your income was zero there was some consumption that you used to do right so this is your consumption function c and your income that your aggregate supply is perfectly last that is called it goes on increasing when your aggregate demand increases so this is your Agree, uh, income. We have seen that your income is equal to AS. This is your AS. This is your consumption. Now, your aggregate demand is your consumption plus your autonomous investment. Somewhere else it will be parallel. This because your investment is similar. So. This is your aggregate demand we have taken out. 
we get demand is equal to C plus I. So this is a and now when aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply, this is a level of equilibrium level. When your income that is aggregate supply is equal to your aggregate demand. If your aggregate demand is 80, your income should also be 80. So this is how you find out the equilibrium level of income using ASN AD approach. Now let's see through a tabular representation in this graph uh, tabular form we are given the level of employment the aggregate supply the aggregate demand I have told you in the very uh, first beginning of this video that your income your output or your employment is, are considered same because your output helps in the income generation that is why and your income generation means your employment if the person is employed then only he will generate income so the employment level of employment means your income so see where these four are equal the aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand is equal to your income so this is the level of equilibrium this is the level of where aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply that is the equilibrium level of income so this is the equilibrium income we have find out using a tabular form now what happens if aggregate supply is less than aggregate demand we took an assumption in very first that your aggregate supply is perfectly elastic that it adjusts itself according to the aggregate demand now if aggregate supply is less than aggregate demand which means the demand of goods and services is high in the market and there is less supply. So what a producer will do? Producer will plan more production and accordingly will supply, start supplying more which helps in increasing the aggregate supply. And again an equilibrium will be restored when your aggregate supply is equal to the aggregate demand. Now what will happen if your aggregate supply is more than aggregate demand? See if your supply is greater than your demand which means that the producer will hold the stock Right? Demand is not there. So what producer will do? Producer will hold the stock and it will reduce the supply in the market. So ultimately aggregate supply will come down and aggregate supply will be equal to aggregate demand again and equilibrium will be restored in the economy. I hope you have completely understood that how to calculate the equilibrium level of input uh, income using AS and AD approach. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.